Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, module 7, lesson 2, Angle Relationships and Triangles. After this lesson, you need to be able to find the measures of interior and exterior angles in a triangle by using relationships between these angles. Let's learn. Triangles. A line segment is part of a line containing two endpoints and all of the points between them. A triangle is formed by three line segments that intersect at their endpoints. A point where the segments intersect is called a vertex. The three angles that lie inside a triangle are called interior angles. So to sum that up, three line segments connected at their endpoints make our triangle. Each corner is called a vertex, so the corners of the triangle, and then each angle on the inside those are interior angles. Triangle XYZ, written with a little triangle symbol, has sides and angles that can be named using its vertices, which just means vertex, plural, X, Y, and Z. The angle located at vertex Y can be named such as angle Y, or we could call it angle X, Y, Z, the angle that you're referencing is in the middle, or angle Z, Y, X, again, the one we're looking at is in the middle. The sides of a triangle can be named using segment notation. You'll see this with the letters of the vertices and a line over top. That's called segment notation. It is read as segment X, Y, the segment that goes from X to Y. So let's look at what the different things will be called for our triangle X, Y, Z. First, let's look at our sides. So here we can see side X, Y, we could put it in segment notation, segment X, Y. Here we have Y to Z, so we would say it's segment Y, Z, and X to Z, segment X, Z. You could say Z, X, but in general, we're going to put them in alphabetical order, so X, Z. For each vertex, we'll just name it by the letter that it comes with. So here is vertex X, so down here would be vertex Y, and over here, vertex Z, we're just naming. And for the angle, it's the angle that's inside each vertex. So here we're pointing to the angle that's inside by vertex X. So this would be angle X. Here we would have angle Y, and we would lastly have angle Z. Again, for the angles, if we wanted to, we could call it angle, I'm gonna follow it around, with the angle I want in the middle, so I could call this angle Y, X, Z if I wanted to, or Z, X, Y going backwards with the angle that we're identifying in the middle. Let's learn. Angle sum of triangles. The measure of the angles in a triangle have a special relationship. If you want to follow along with a piece of paper and go through the steps below, you can see how a triangle has a special relationship with its angles. So to do this, you would draw a triangle, like the one we see here, and then with some scissors cut it out. Then rip it, so you're essentially tearing off the corner and breaking it into three parts. Then rearrange the pieces so that the corners all meet at one point. You can see they all meet right here at that point. What happens, these angles make a straight angle or a straight line. Because of this, those angles then are supplementary, and they add together to get 180. Even if we look at a different triangle, so this triangle down here is definitely shaped different than the one we started with in our picture. Even if we were to rip off these corners and put them all together, so like let's say there's my 110, there's my 25. If I add all three of these together, 45 plus 110 plus 25, I still end up with 180. So this shows that the angles of a triangle, if you add them all together, their sum is 180 degrees. And this will be true for all triangles. If it's not 180 degrees, it's not actually a triangle, even if they drew it to make it look like one. So our key parts for triangles, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So we could say that angle X plus angle Y plus angle Z, all of those three added together is 180 degrees. Example one, find missing angle measures. 
Find the value of x in the flag of St. Kitts and Nevis. So we can see angle x is right here. It is part of this triangle with other angles of 56 and the box which is 90. The three angles add together have a sum of 180. So if we can show adding the three angles together to equal 180. To solve for our missing angle, we just need to figure out what is left before we get to 180. So 56 and 90 together is 146. If I take that away from 180 to figure out what I need left, leaves me with 34 degrees. So the value of x in this triangle would be 34. Check your understanding. What is the value of x in the doghouse shown? Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have found that x was equal to 47. Now you may think just looking at the picture, yeah, that's kind of obvious if it was built correctly. Usually they're the same on both sides, but let's check and show that these three angles together, 86 and 47 and x added together is 180. If we combine those two together, that is 133. 86 plus 47, 133. So I can take that away from my total of 180. What's left? 47. So X was also 47 as the angle in this doghouse. Let's learn exterior angles of triangles. In addition to the three interior angles that we just saw, so one, two, and three, a triangle can have an exterior angle formed by one side of the triangle and the extension of the side. So here's our extensions. We can see them going. The exterior angles are the ones formed by that extension outside the triangle. So in this diagram, four, five, and six are exterior angles. The helpful thing about these, the interior angle and its exterior angle then become supplementary since they make a straight angle. So if they're supplementary, then they add to 180. So angle one and angle four added together would be 180. Angle six and angle two would be 180. And angle five and angle three would be equal to 180. So the interior angle and its adjacent exterior angle are supplementary. Each of the exterior angles that we can create also will have to remote interior angles that are not adjacent to that exterior angle. So if we look at angle four here, that is our exterior angle that's adjacent to angle one. The remote angles are the other interior ones that are not adjacent. So four has remote interior angles of two and three. So if we're looking at angle five, which ones would be the remote interior angles? not three, it would be one and two. And for angle six, they would be not two, but one and three. So it's the two that are away from the exterior angle. If we look here in the picture, there is a relationship between the remote interior angles and the exterior angle that it's away from. First of all, the three angles of our triangle are 180. We've already established that adding those three equals 180. We also can establish that these two angles here, 65 and 115, are also equal to 180. And since both of these are equal to 180, that means that they're actually equal to each other. So here's my three interior angles. Here's my supplementary angles of my one interior and one exterior. What happens, they actually share the same angle in common, so we can take that away. This means that our remote interior angles together have the same measure as the exterior angle. So in this case, A and B added together would be equal to the exterior angle on C. Putting this all together, it just says the exterior angles measure is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So if you know two 
angles that are inside the triangle, and they're the remote ones, you can figure out the exterior one without having to figure out this missing one here first. These two added together equal the exterior away from it. Example 3. Find exterior angle measures. In the beach chair shown, measure of angle 2 is 55, and the measure of angle 3 is 60. So I'm going to put those on there. What is the measure of angle 1? In our picture, angle 1 is an exterior angle outside of the triangle, and the two we're given are both remote interior. They're not the one that's adjacent. Using our fact about remote interior angles and an exterior angle, angle 2 and 3 added together, so 55 and 60, are equal to the measure of angle 1. So what's 55 plus 60? It is 115. So our measure of angle 1 is 115. Again, we could have found this angle right here. 55 plus 60 is 115. I could subtract from 180 and figure out that this is 65. Then I could have done supplementary. If this is 65, this has to be 115. We can skip all that by using our remote interior angles and the fact that they are equal to the exterior angle. Check your understanding. Looking at the picture and using the information provided, find the measure of angle one. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have found measure of angle one is 70. If angle two is 25 and angle three is 45, then this angle is equal to those two added together. So 25 plus 45 is 70. So angle one would be 70 degrees. Again, you could have found this missing angle right here and then treated them as supplementary, but it is more efficient to use our remote interior angles. Example four, use exterior angles to find missing angle measures. In the figure, the measure of angle four is 135 degrees. So here, angle 4, 135. Find the measures of angle 2 and angle 1. So since we know this is an exterior angle, its remote interior angles added together equal 135. We know the measure here is already 90. So if we put measure of angle 2 plus 90 equals 135, then what has to be angle 2? Subtract 90. Measure of angle 2 is 45. Now to figure out angle 1, I have two options. I can use these as a triangle, they would add to 180, or these two here are supplementary, meaning they also add to 180. Either way, if I subtract 180 minus my angles, then this becomes 45. So 180 minus 135 is 45. So both angle 2 and angle 1 were 45 degrees. Check your understanding. Find the measures of angle 1 and 2. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have found angle 1 is 57 degrees and angle 2 is 33 degrees. We are given this is 147 for angle 5. I'm going to do angle 2 first. I know these two are supplementary, so they add to 180. 147 plus 33 would be 180. Then this is 90, so 90 plus angle 1 has to be 147. This must be 57. 90 plus 57 is 147. I can double check to make sure I have the right angles. These being a triangle should add to 180. 33 plus 57 is 90. 90 plus 90 is 180. So I just double check to make sure everything fits perfectly. Triangle added to 180. Remote interior angles add to my exterior. Things are supplementary. There's a lot of different ways you can check. It all needs to work. And in this case, these are our two angles.